across the wide Missouri. I like to live with a paradox, and I think people who want heaven on earth, they ain't never gonna find it, you know, and like they say to us, well, you do this, and you do that, how do you reconcile that? But I mean, you, you ain't alive and kicking unless you're fighting with a million, like I find everybody's life is a paradox, and like, people apply one rule to us and another rule to themselves, you know? It's just not on. I mean, you can make life easy for yourself and uh, not bother with it, you know? But we're not very good at making life easy for ourselves. We never have been. Do you think that you can change anything through music then? Yeah, I think you definitely can change. I mean, look at the 60s. You know, what do you remember from the 60s? Right? I can, all I can remember was the music and how as soon as I heard the music, I didn't care about homework or geography or lessons or school, you know, I just cared about the music. And like everybody was the same, it, it changed everything. I think you can do a lot with music. It's not like poetry. Music is what people are turning on to in this last 30, 40 years, not books or art. And so we've got more chance than anybody to change things, you know? I mean, it's all too easy just to say, no, it doesn't change anything. Let's go to the bar. You know, which was what I have been saying probably for, for, to make it easier. I think our spirit alone changes a lot of things with yeah. other people. Like we go on the stage, like in Japan for example, maybe a lot of them don't understand what we're saying. But I think just by the mere spirit they understand what we're on about. And you know, con you get concrete examples, you do really get feedback. Like we've had letters like girls saying, um, I failed my exams into uh, art and design college last week, but after seeing your show, I realise how hard you have to do something and now I'm going to go back there and I'm going to go in there with my head down like a battering ram, you know. And I tell you, we've got letters that, you know, you think we're just just masturbating, but... We're True actually, testification. Yeah, we're, we're actually affecting people. Do you aim for any any particular audience? No. no. Just people, that's all Just whoever about. wants to come. Yeah, whoever wants to listen. We'd play to old age pensioners, you know. If they'd have us. <laughs> Do you, do you have any... But we any don't have to, the stones are taking care of that now. <laughs> well, the way we see it, like this, it's like, you start up and you go, where the clash? When we got something to say, and you're near, 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 right? And then if you, the band splits up, because you can't keep it together, it's like you've fooled a lot of people into I wasted a lot of people's time, you know? So we're, we keep going because uh, we are the real McCoy. We're not going to just fold up and in a few weeks you wonder what all that was about. We're going to be here and continue and get harder and rougher than tough. Dreader than dread, you know?
about the swimming? Oh, uh, Wahoo, wacka, taggy, boom, bang, boy. 